welcome back to the toasty confines of the yurt. Yay. We're finally back in a base. <laughs> we've been in like constant battles for so long in that forest. All right, so we've got uh, some info. There's no support conversations? Yeah, there is. Oh, why isn't, why isn't it green? Because this part is green. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. I feel like sometimes they were green. All right, well, <laughs> let's talk to this guy. I even forgot. Was it like a two-star something? <laughs> so, General Ike, our troops are ready to move out. All right. Do you have them wait? Do you want them to fall out and wait in their tents? Or would you rather they form up and stand at attention? Uh, go ahead and have them stand down. I'll call them when I'm ready. Yes, sir. Uh, is this a different soldier? Is this a <laughs> begging your pardon, sir. Our troops have been ordered to stand down. However, General Tanith requests our orders. Are her Pegasus Knights to stand down as well? Uh, am I supposed to decide that too? General Ike, you've been given command of the entire army, sir. We will not move without your orders, sir. <laughs> General Tanith's troops are to follow General Tanith's orders. Understood, sir. Most unconventional. <laughs> General Tanith's Pegasus Knights will not be deployed unless there is a request for reinforcements. Those are the orders of General Tanith. By your leave, sir. <laughs> okay, so interesting. Dude, freaking at this point, Ike is like what? Maybe like 18? <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. He's already like the I commander. I mean, of the Alexander entire... the Great was 17 when he died. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> freaking, what have I done with my life? <laughs> Started a YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my god, yeah. that's insane. He was like, I got a cold, cough, cough, bleh, and then he died. Well, yeah. <laughs> After he conquested like half of the world, yeah, like the yeah. known world. And then disease. Yeah. <laughs> that's how like Attila the Hun died from like a nosebleed. Oh, they so usually cool. conquer like all of these different things, and then it's just like, oh, well. <laughs> you know, well, it was probably related to the war. He was probably like stressed out. And then was like, blah, blah. He was like, he was like in the <laughs> middle of a wedding. He was like marrying like his like twentieth wife or something, and then he got a nosebleed and died. <laughs> and then Frederick Barbarossa was marching across the uh, the Holy Land across the desert, and he was so excited when they finally found an oasis that he jumped in and didn't take off his armor. He died. <laughs> he drowned. The, yep, the founder of the Holy Roman Empire just just died, just drowned because oh. he was so excited at seeing water he didn't take his armor off when he jumped in. Oh, you see what I tell you? People, more people so drown in the desert than die of uh, of dehydration. Died, yeah, you told me that there was a Snapple fact. Isn't that cr no, it wasn't. It was oh, it wasn't? I, I thought you said it was. I read it on the internet. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Just as good as a Snapple fact. Anyway. Oh, you did it. See, that a moment? General Ike, what is it? Is that a problem? I thought you might be able to provide me with some information. Yes? What can you tell me about King Dane? I'd like to know something of him before I have to face him in battle. Uh, truth be told, I've never fought him either. I cannot give you any specifics, but I will tell you what little I do know. Please, whatever you can tell me would be appreciated. Ashnard's coronation, let me see. Yes, it was 18 years ago. You see, a plague had struck the capital, spreading out to affect the surrounding region of Navasa and beyond. Ashnard was crowned the year after that great tragedy finally subsided. In the entire history of Tellius, no calamity has claimed the lives of so many Bjork and Lagoos, not since the Great Flood. Two years before, it struck Begnion, and the entire population of Serenis was nearly obliterated. The year after that, close to a thousand Bjork nobles and peasants alike perished in Dane. Nobles, you say? So the royal family fell victim to this plague as well? Yes, the reigning king and queen and some twenty or so princesses and princesses fell ill, and everyone who fell ill perished. For a time, the people despaired of losing the entire royal bloodline of Dane. It seemed that none would survive. And yet, Ashnard survived. He did. It is quite interesting in a sense. You see, his name was never mentioned in any talk of succession before that time. He was of such a distant bloodline that he was unlikely to be king. In another place, though, his name was already well known. Where was that? On the battlefield. As you know, Dane is home to many brave warriors. At the time, then, Prince Ashnard was said to have been a match for an entire troop of Pegasus Knights. Begnion and Dane both keep close watch over their borders, and their patrols fought in many skirmishes. 
Although there was no war to speak of, these land disputes did end with Dane claiming a small portion of Begnion's soil. It would be no exaggeration to say this was solely due to the strength of one man. Ashnard! <laughs> oh! Forgive me. I've spoken longer than I intended. Mm. Yeah, you're telling me, Tanith. Jesus <laughs> Christ. It's about time we get back to the business of marching preparations. No, thank you for telling me so much. If you've got another chance, please share more of your stories. Mm. Understood. Well, honestly, the Pegasus Knights aren't that strong, so... Okay. <laughs> hey, they're... <laughs> They're, they're Lady trying Trill, their hardest. Girls, we run the world. Girls, who run, run the world. Girls, who run this uh, mother. Who uh, <laughs> <laughs> run this mother. Oh, okay. dude, you got a little bit of Beyonce in her. Okay. <laughs> Ike, which troop should we fall in with? We have received no orders yet. Ooh, these guys are kind of outsiders, you know. Yeah. <sighs> Doorknob, Miriam. I know I've asked you many times, but are you sure you want to be here? You keep asking that. Maybe you don't want us here, is that it? I don't want to... Uh, I don't know what to think. Like, it's because I like you guys. <laughs> no, it's not that at all. To be honest, the battle ahead is going to be hard. It looks bleak. I'd rather that those without direct ties to Crimea not get involved. A bleak battle? What about trying to free all the slaves in Begnion? Now those were bleak battles. Bleak battles are our specialty, right, Miriam? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Yet, thanks to Ike's time in Begnion, things have changed completely. That's right. The Apostles promised to press her investigation until there's not a single Lagoo slave left in the entire nation. So there's no reason for you two to continue fighting, is there? You don't owe me anything. We're going to fight with you, Ike. We want to help. It is our right to join you in this, just as it is your right to refuse us. To be perfectly frank, I'd be willing to beg to get you to join us. Both of you, all right? All right. <laughs> you can count on us. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'd be willing to beg to get a small child to join our army. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess it just... Uh, Underground Railroad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, there's no support. Uh, what the heck? We were just so in the middle of weird. a pitched battle. Well, let's see what you can do. So, Reese has Titania, Mia, Ralph, so... Okay. And Kieran. I haven't, oh. put, I haven't put Kieran in, like, a single battle since we got him. I mean, I like Kieran, but your Kieran's probably gonna suck because he's below. I, well, he was, he was pretty high level when we got him. Mm. Anyway, okay, so Ike, Ralph, Titania... Ralph and Mist. Leith and... Oh, sorry. <laughs> We haven't really not had Ike and Leith. I guess not. They didn't really fight next to each other. No. Rolf and Shannon. <laughs> Brom and Devdan. Oh, Devdan and Nephany. Interesting. They didn't get enough from the last time, I guess. Liana, Mia, Zahark, and Mordecai. Titania missed Brom. Boyd. Huh. Liana Reese. We haven't even started anything. <laughs> Stefan, yeah, it's Soren. <laughs> oh my god, it's Soren and Stefan. Oh, because they have a lot in common. <laughs> I guess they would. Was, yeah. Is Stefan a Bjork? Was that, uh, was that wait, established? Wait, wait, no, wait, hold on. Shoot, I guess Stefan and Zihard mixed up. So yeah. They, yeah, they're pretty similar. Uh, Mordecai. Uh, there's Ike, there's our only A relationship. <laughs> uh, Leaf missed with Jill. We can still push that right, leaf. There's well, a lot of C's on here. Alright, alright. A couple of B's. It's gonna happen eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar's stuff is always on the verge of all getting broken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at Yeah, he, we, we use him a lot, I think. Yeah, we do. Um, um, and he gets a lot of doubles. <gasps> Go to Oscar, give him the silver lance. Oh shit, yeah. Convoy. Screw oh, the Iron right. Lands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give him the silver lance. Oh shit, dude. Oh man. Yeah. Actually, wait, get rid of the night killer and put in the iron lance. Okay. Cause I just mean, just in case we don't want to like overkill yeah. somebody. So who do you want to focus on? Reese? Mia? Mist? Or someone else? I feel like our I think Reese and Mist are probably our like two like level up. Focus. I mean, Mia, I feel like Mia's gonna get there real soon. Yeah. Like, regardless of what we do. Okay. Um, Let's go. Reese is 14. Let's manage. Yeah. Um, or some, some bonus XP. 
There it is, bolting. Dang. Ooh. So cool. <laughs> oh, I just want to look at bolting. Let me look at it. There you go. Long range lightning magic. Difficult to master, but it can strike enemies from afar. Not bad. Not bad at all. Cool. All right. I think that's it, right? Is everything? Shave it. Shave it. Yeah. Do you remember the first episode of Pokemon? Uh, like the whole uh, of the, the animated series? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Or, really? Wait, maybe it's the third one. The one where Team Rocket appears for the first time. There's a, <laughs> there's a part where Rattata gets like scared away by Ekans. But for some reason, Rattata like didn't have an English voice actor, and he like really? he like oh, said wow. his Japanese name, and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> and it, and he basically said, shave it. <laughs> and so sometimes, I, <laughs> sometimes I think of that. <laughs> My, uh. My lord Ike, are preparations complete? Yes. The enemy should not yet be aware that we've come this far. We're gonna launch a surprise attack and try to capture the wall in our first charge. Please wait for us at the base camp. This music is really nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, very well. I don't know why I tore my sleeves off. It's pretty cold right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to look so worried. We're well prepared. And we've got you as our good luck charm. Thank you for that, but... Do be careful, my lord, Ike. Hey, don't worry. This may be our first battle as an official army, but we've fought Dane many times. We're gonna win. After all, I can't lose my very first battle as a snooty noble, now can I? I believe in you, and I know that you will be victorious. Come back safe. <laughs> Aww. She likes you, I guess. Yeah. Look at the Pegasus is flying in recently. She's like... Mm. Yeah. Is that you ever Galloping. see those? You ever see those videos of like people slowly lowering their dogs into water? <laughs> their dog like starts paddling before they even hit the water. <laughs> Is everyone ready? Let's move out. Hold a moment, my lord Ike. In the sky, something's coming. Who's that? Whoa! Oh, I, oh it's all, all the right. birds. All the birds. Oh, Ike. Well met. It appears that you're getting ready for your first battle as Cremea's army. And you're escorting the Heron siblings back to Phoenicius, right? That's yeah, the original plan, but uh, someone here insisted that we follow you. Quite unreasonably, I might add. You treated us with courtesy, Bjork. We must act accordingly. Isn't that so, Leanne? <laughs> you said your name was Ike, correct? Yeah. You aided my sister and me during a time of danger. We herons hold courtesy in high esteem. We must repay our debt to you. That's really not necessary. We are practitioners of Sayed magic. We cannot fight, but we can imbue our allies with strength. If you so wish it, I will travel with you. In this way, I will repay you for what you've done. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, allowed to join. Hell yeah. <laughs> you were lucky to find your sister. Shouldn't you stay by her side? Leanne understands what I do. I see. Well, in that case, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I swear on the honor of my clan to do all I can to strengthen your cause. Well, it's settled then. And you'll get aid from me as well. Janif. Right here, your majesty. You'll go with the Crimean army and protect Raisin. What? What? Hey, <laughs> come uh, <laughs> Leave it to me. I had shit to do, man. <laughs> <laughs> you too, Alki, all right? Of course. Tibon, it's too much. I cannot accept this. You're already watching over Leanne and my father as well. These past 20 years, I know what it's been like for you living in Phoenicius. I'm only as sorry I can't do more. Tibon, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. King Phoenicius, I will guard Raisin well. When Crimea is retaken, I will see him safely return to you. Well, I'll take you at your word. Your actions have created a bond of trust between yourself and the Hawk and Heron clans. If you find yourself in a dire position, 
You call on me. No matter what, I'll fly to your aid. <laughs> To fly, go back. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I just like shoot you a text or something? Or? <laughs> we gained a strong ally where we had not thought to look for one, didn't we? Yeah, Bjork and Lagoose, Beast Tribe and Bird Tribe. There's no difference between us. We finally understand one another. Yes, I think you're right. We've broken through the color barrier. <laughs> <laughs> now let's really get started. Everyone, move out! This is the army? <laughs> That's it? Oh, I thought it was gonna be getting like much more people than that. Uh -huh. Well, okay. you, uh, with Tanith, you can ask for recruitments at any time and four dudes will come up and help you. Oh! Oh, oh you, Sonic, Sonic Sword! sword. Okay. Whoa, try to keep up! So, <laughs> A sorceress blade that uses magic, not strength, to attack. Okay. Interesting. So that's what the flame lance is like too. Yeah. So she could hit from ranged with that thing. Oh, cool. Yeah, one yeah. to two. And it's good against flying. It's wind. Wait, so when it says that it uses magic, does that mean like stat wise it uses the magic stat? Okay, and not strength. Mm. Gotcha. Yeah, because magic is ten. Right. And it does ten. Gotcha. So she uses swords and spears. Swords and spears. Oh wow, she's good with both too. A and B. Allows unit to call partner reinforcements. Burp, burp, burp. Burp, burp, burp. All right, All right. cool. Um, Racing. He's a soldier. The heck? Bird Skill track. soldier. Oh, right, here. Kanto grants this unit the ability to perform a chant that lets allied units move again. Heck yeah! Oh my god! Restores HP to a unit in an adjacent space. Wow, that's crazy. So every turn, he like heals people who are standing next to him. Yeah. No reason. Wow, that's Just awesome. Cool. Alright, what about, uh, let's check our new guys. Olki. Increases dodge ability. Cool, he's water. He's a water type Pokemon! <laughs> Strength 15, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Alright, Janeth. I'm pretty wimpy. <laughs> yeah, really not. Insight. Increases hit percentage. Oh, so I guess he's accurate. Um, it doesn't count against his capacity. That's interesting. And he's Thunder! Interesting. Alright, well, we've got Bolting, too, so... <laughs> Use um, wisely. Ooh, check out! Oh, wow. Check who... Oh. Kayache oh. Tornado. Oh, yeah. Look at, look at the comb-over, dude. Oh, boy. Look at the comb-over. Uh, so look for some archers, some snipers around here. Who's that? Who's here over there? Oh, Shannon! Yeah, over there. Oh what my God, it's Shannon! What's he doing over there? Yo, he's a sniper now. Oh wait, was he always a sniper? Yeah, he was always a sniper. Whoa, Snowball. brave bow! Oh yeah. my God, Shannon's back. Okay, who? Um, shit. Who do we gotta talk to him with? So Ralph needs to talk to Shannon. Ralph needs. Okay, so. And then I has to kill him. Really? Yeah. That's an interesting set of circumstances. Good thing you told me. <laughs> um, I never figured that out. So Ralph and Shannon died every single time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this guy's got bolting too. Yeah, it's scary. Damn. All right, reposition. So you hit like the whole thing. Okay. Um, all right. Lau, let's now let's choose some units. All right. And what are the conditions? Route the enemies. So just kill, kill everyone. Kill them. All right. Fight. Fight, fight, fight. What? Uh. It appears the Crimean army has arrived. It's time to put our plan into action. The main body of the... Oh, God. There's the and, and Shannon. Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> the main body of the Compass army will weigh atop the Western Summit. Oh, shit. So this isn't even everybody. A small unit will remain here and cooperate with you. This is correct, is it not? I don't know, you're the freaking guy in charge. Mm, it is. All right, I'm leave it over here. Okay. Damn crap. <laughs> the bird poop. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. What could his majesty be thinking? Why does Dane ally herself with some backwater subhuman nation? I don't know. There's no way we can expect to understand the supreme thoughts of the king. All we can do is perform the task set before us by his highness. That's everything. Yes, of course. The Crimean army has no idea we're aware of every move. 
Bah, quit ramen. What does that untrained group of vagabonds think they could do? I don't care how talented he is. The commander is nothing more than a young mercenary with delusions of grandeur. With nothing to fear. We'll show them what real war is like. On the Kilvus Ravens, how should we deal with them? Not all subhuman freaks. Let's use them as bait. We can sacrifice them and reduce our own human casualties. We're so racist. <laughs> A fantastic idea. Make sure that the men are thoroughly instructed. Yes, sir. <laughs> Got a big old smile on his face. <laughs> you there, hold. Mm, you're an unfamiliar face. You'll know it soon enough. Oh, hell yeah, Shannon. You, you filthy piece of offal! You will bow your head to a superior officer! Ugh. He's got a lot of nerve, hasn't he? Is he one of yours? Yes, sir! He's a new recruit who's only assigned to me today! 27 and positive for his lack of entertaining a man! Oh, he's good! I can overlook almost any character flaw! I'll go and kill as many commands as you can! Help my name be remembered with honor and glory. Mm. The name of Kaios Her. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, Shannon, what adventures have you been up to uh -huh. while we've been out? Come to me, dragons of Crimea. I will teach what it means to oppose the might of Dane. Him and his purple hair. Let's kill him.